Okay then, this is a, um, a quick review of uh, a cheap DVR that I bought last year. Uh, it's a H264 Network DVR. Network DVR, yep. Yeah. And um, this particular cheap DVR is badged as Florian. F-L-O-U-R-E-O-N. I think it's Florian or Flaurian, but... Uh, there's various DVRs very similar to this on the market made in China badged by different companies it's a 960H 8 channel DVR that I, brought, that I bought from um, eBay for about 40 quid uh, I fitted an old 500 uh, GB hard drive that I had lying about and um, had a couple of uh, cameras uh, 420 TVL cameras that I had from my previous CCTV system that I've also connected up to this particular DVR uh, just to, to see how it goes. I've been running it for um, nearly a year now and I thought I'd do a quick little review uh, to tell you all what I thought of it. This uh, this DVR runs on embedded Linux. It says it's quite, quite a few good features which I've been quite impressed with. Um, especially for the price this unit came in at um, like I said it was about 40 quid from eBay um, which is really cheap uh, for, for the features that it has um, it has the ability to record 8 channels simultaneously uh, at 960H or even full D1 um, I'm only using 4 of the BNC inputs on the back, the rear inputs um, because I've only got four cameras at the moment so <clears throat> have a quick look at the picture quality of the DVR um, I'll just flick through a few of the, the the pictures that I get from this DVR so that's uh, <clears throat> my camera number one it's uh, I think it's one of my old cameras it's a 420 TVL camera that I had from my previous CCTV system um, the picture quality is I'll say okay on it it's been it's been quite good um, it works fine the, it does what it needs uh, it's one of the older uh, dome cameras that I had on my previous system uh, so I'll just have a look so you can see some of the other ones that I have Camera number two, which camera number two, which is also one of my old CCTV um, dome cameras that I had. It's just a one third inch Sony CCD dome camera connected to the DVR. The picture quality is okay. This is the live view. Um, picture quality is okay. Um, camera number three which is one of my newer cameras that I bought about six months ago it's either a 420 TVL or a 480 TVL and it's a, again a one third inch Sony CCD but this is a super had um, <coughs> CCD dome camera uh, the quality on it seems a bit better than the previous ones the colors are a bit better and it has an IR cut filter on it also and camera number four which again is a very similar camera to camera number three um, so that's the picture quality the live view picture quality view that you you see on it it's uh, it's, it's quite good as you see that's a bit duller my older um, cameras so just have a quick look at some of the playback features on it. You can um, play back. That gives you an idea. So, you know it's coming in quite dark on one of them pictures there. You can move the move it around and see uh, the quality of the picture that you get. You can select any of the actual cameras from the the display let's uh, yeah give you an idea of the pictures there you 
can select any of the cameras you want and um, gives you quite good playback so that's the basics of the the DVR that's what you'd expect from most DVRs you'd you know obviously be able to view the pictures and record the footage from the cameras um, <clears throat> but uh, some some more of the features that it has is uh, it's like I said it's a H264 network DVR which H264 is the recording format that it uses for recording the pictures onto the hard drive it's a network DVR so you have the ability to connect it up to your home network via the RJ45 connector that it has on the back um, or alternatively you can do what I've done which is instead of using the RJ45 connector to have a wired connection um, I chose to uh, buy a USB dongle which I have connected to one of its three USB ports the wireless dongle that works with this particular DVR is 150 megabits per second RT3070 model and um, I just there's a USB port on the back there I've got a little extension lead and connected it up there uh, that's my USB dongle that's connected via USB extension uh, up to and mounted it in a position where I get good reception basically uh, it's uh, <coughs> it does the job it works quite well with my home network system and it, uh, it it connects and gives me all the access that I need to the DVR either locally or remotely so that gives you connecting the DVR via <coughs> via the RJ45 or via USB dongle um, gives you the ability to connect uh, to your DVR and access your, your footage from your recordings remotely from a laptop, tablet or maybe a, a smartphone. It, it also has the ability to send notifications um, to the to your to your handheld device if if that's how you want to set it up. It's not a feature I've particularly set up on mine. Um, <coughs> so once you've connected your DVR to the network uh, and remote connecting a remote device is uh, is reasonably easy um, you use a, an app I use an app called Goolink uh, Goolink isn't the app that the that was suggested in the box the box suggested some random VMI uh, I think it was I'm just gonna okay so this is um, a remote viewing of the DVR on a handheld device it can be your phone it could be an iPhone it could be an Android device this is actually a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 um, it's an Android device with uh, using an app called Goolink, and it uh, it works quite well. It's uh, these are the four cameras that you can see the picture of the four cameras. It's connected via Wi-Fi to the same uh, network to the same router that the DVR is connected to via the USB dongle that I showed earlier, and um, that's how it communicates on the. Uh, local network there so I have actually set up two DVRs um, on this app one I call local and the other one I call remote local is when I'm at home I can use it to log on directly to the DVR and remote is when I'm away from home so local is when I'm at home and it's on the same network it's on the same IP network as the DVR um, it accesses it a lot quicker than the remote one um, the remote one actually takes advantage of the P2P cloud streaming um, facility that's available on the DVR which 
basically streams video up to a server up to a remote server and you you end up accessing from your handheld device the remote server and <clears throat> that's good if you're away from home for example and don't have a direct connection to the DVR so that's the way I have it set up um, when I'm at home I use local when I'm away from home I use the remote one which is accessing the remote server um, with the P2P uh, streaming facility that's on the DVR so just looking quick look at the app uh, you can flick through any of these inputs and see the the video so that's a uh, that's a quick a quick review of the um, the app the Google Link app um, and here endeth the review of the H264 network DVR which all in all has great features um, more features than on which I'm actually able to make use of um, so I'm going to give this uh, DVR 10 out of 10 thank you very much